Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video, and this one we're in Movavi, and I want to show you how this amazing video editing platform can do all sorts of crazy AI things. We're talking about background removal, motion tracking, audio noise reduction, and a whole lot more. It can do all of it, guys, and I'm going to show you all of that and more in this video. Let's go. All right, so the first step is if you don't have it installed and you haven't used it before, just head over to movavi.com, and you'll note here that I'm on the Mac page, but they have a Mac and a Windows version, and you can download both for free. I'm going to use the Mac one, and I will note up front here, if you're a Mac user, it works great with the new Apple Silicon. So if you've got an older Intel chip, or you got the Apple Silicon chip, works great with both. I've gone ahead and just clicked on download for free, and presto, we're on our way. Also, the links are in the description below in my YouTube description, and I have an additional 27% discount. So if you use my code, you get a nice deal, so it's pretty cool. Anyways, there we go, it's downloaded. Let's open it up and let's start cooking. All right, so we got Movavi Video Editor 24 open and you're gonna see a screen that looks just like this. I'm gonna show you some of the basics up front here and then we're gonna skip ahead a little bit and we're gonna look at some of the new AI features and functionality. They are absolutely fantastic. I know you shouldn't eat your dessert before dinner, but hey, I'm an adult so I can technically do whatever I want. Right, mom? <laughs> just kidding. Guys, I'm gonna show you all of this. Let's go. All right, the next step's an easy one. We just have to add in our files or add in our footage. So I'm just gonna click on add files and then from there, I'm gonna select the folder that my footage is in and I'm gonna go ahead and select these five completely different videos they're totally different now to create a sequence you just have to drag and drop whatever you want onto the timeline so I've gone ahead and selected all five pieces of video and here we go on our timeline if I hit the space bar you can see here that I've got a boxing match kind of thing going on here then I've got some futuristic uh, back to the future car type thing and then I've got a blacksmith hammering all different types of styles some lightning some C footage and I'm gonna go ahead and show you all sorts of AI and special effects that you could take amazing footage like this this is great stuff and we're gonna take it to the next level so I'm gonna step I'm gonna walk you through it step by step let's go all right the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to remove background here we've got a nice stock video of a fella doing some blacksmithing some real manly stuff after that look at this the background is gone we have removed it and then finally I added in a new background and I repositioned him so that he's in the bottom right so we've got a unique background and the background can be anything I'm gonna show you how to find them. It's gonna take us about 60 seconds to do this. Let's go. All right, removing backgrounds is a piece of cake. First step here, you'll see here, I've hit the plus here, and then up at the top, you'll see project files. Just pull in the project file that you wanna remove the background on. In this case, I've got this fella doing some blacksmithing. So let's just do a small snippet because I don't wanna bore you with a long calculation. I just wanna show you the technique. So we got, what, about three seconds here worth of footage. That should do the trick. Let's see what we got. Okay, he's just coming back from the fire there with his metalsmith or blacksmithing stuff. Next step here, down here, you'll see here you've got three squares and a plus. It's basically more tools. When you click on that, you get a whole bunch of options, video and audio. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of them. But the first one is obviously background removal. When you do that, you get two options and you'll see it's got the green AI little button there. So if you hover over it, it'll tell you what it's going to do. But here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and select precise. You can select quick if you're in a hurry, but I generally go with precise and it works best. So I'm gonna click on remove and it is going to do all the dirty work in seconds. I'll come back in a few seconds when it's done. All right, look at that. So there we go. We've gone ahead and removed the background and I sl slide through it here and I scrub through it. You'll see here that the background is gone. We're only halfway there though. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back up here to the plus up here at the top left and then you'll see here, I've got something called backgrounds. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use a black ground here from the uh, one of these options, but if you want something in particular, I highly recommend clicking on Get More Media. It will pop open the uh, web browser and you'll be able to go through all of their stuff here on their website. I'm gonna go ahead and go back because I've already downloaded a few, but again, that's there for you if you so choose. The one that I'm interested in for this video is camera because I want to make it look like we've got that uh, VCR look. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this here underneath. And I didn't do it right because that's how I roll. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up here to the top. Let me try and fix that again. Sorry about that. I meant to drag it underneath just like that. Now look at this. When I hit play, 
we've got this blacksmith here with the background removed and we've got that cool VCR look in behind it. So there you go, that is the first step. Now I'm gonna show you some more cool AI features. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is how to add in transitions. It's not necessarily AI doing this, but it's pretty wild and it really adds production value to any video. Now, before I do that, I wanna quickly highlight something here on the left side. You'll see this little case with a plus in it. This is the effects pack and you can go through here and check out all of these different effects packs. So if you have a particular style, if you're looking for something, what I recommend you do is just click on them, click on the pack info. For example, this one here is universe of particles info intro pack sounds awesome i'll click on the info then i click on intro videos and bam here we go i've got these cool videos i'm just going to hit the download button and it's going to install those for me now if you this is for me because i have their big package if you don't have access to that you can go ahead and either purchase their larger package or you can go to their website and take a look and possibly purchase it on a one by one basis now with that out of the way let's get back in and let's start doing some transition the next step here is under project files I've only got this one video in right now. So I'm gonna grab another video from my finder. Let's go to my Movavi one here. And in this case, we're gonna do this cool, nice water scene here. So now we've got our guy with our hammer and we've got that cool VCR camcorder look. Now I'm gonna drag and drop in some water and look at that here. Now it's on the timeline, presto. Now here's the thing though. I wanna transition from the hammer to the water. How do I do that? Well, let me show you here. Very simple. We just want to go over here to the left side. Now go up here and you're going to see right here, pardon me, right here, transitions. And it looks like it's using the uh, infinite symbol. <laughs> when I do that here, of course, there are all these transitions we can choose from. I'm going to select from the free ones, but there are free and there are paid ones, depending on what you're looking for. Flip through the list here. Now, in this case, I'm going to go with something down here a little further. I want to go with this cool little origami type style. I want to have a add some production value here while at the same time, you know, keeping it easy on my budget. So I'm just gonna click on this one here. It's gonna show me what the uh, transition looks like. So if you're not sure, just click on it and it gives you a visual preview, which is awesome. And actually, now that I look at it, I kind of like that origami flap style. So let's go ahead and use that one. So I'm gonna drag and drop it and I'm just gonna place it right between the two video clips. So if I drag and drop it here, you'll see there it's been applied. And if we zoom in a little bit here, ooh, that's a bit too much of a zoom. I'm going to go ahead. I'll move back out of here. Watch this. We're going to go from the hammer guy to the cool waves. Oof. Origami with the flip. That's all you need to do to add transitions. There are hundreds of them, and they are fantastic, and they require no technical skills. All right, let's get to the next piece. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to color grade your footage to make great footage look even better. There's two real ways to do it inside Movavi Video Editor, and they are super, super easy to do. The first one here is I can go up here to these little stars here, and when I do that, you'll see there are effects. And under effects, there's a whole bunch of them, but you'll see color filters and a bunch of other ones. The ones that we want are these color filters. Watch this. Now, this is a nice bluish, cool looking uh, drone shot of a nice Greek beach, it appears. Now, I want, in this case, I want more blues and maybe I want a little bit more contrast. So in this one, I would go with something like Levitan. Now, there's all of these different ones. You can select whichever one works. I'm just gonna grab this one here and I'm just gonna drag it on drop of the footage. And when I do that, presto, it has automatically color graded it and adjusted it. This is the fastest way to do it, but there's also another way where you can dial in the colors yourself if you're so inclined. So I'm gonna undo that there. The next way is down here underneath these three squares and the plus sign. <laughs> well, if you click on color adjustments, pardon me, we got two options. We've got some presets and we've got manual mode. Now, looking at the presets, I kind of like this one here, Magic Enhance, and this one has that sort of AI feel to it. So look at that. We just dragged and dropped it on here, so the transition is in effect, and then boom, we've got some really nice dark blues here. We've got some more contrast in the sand and in the road there. That is another option, and then I'll undo that, and now here's my favorite one, although it takes a little bit more work, but you'll see. We can go ahead and click on Manual Mode like I just did there and adjust this ourselves. So if we want something in particular, for example, I want some more blues. I'm gonna pull this to the left. 
I'm gonna pull the hue to the right, for example. I just wanna get some darker blues in there. Something like that, and I might tint it a little bit. Get some purple, or we want some green in there. Now let's go a little bit of a tint, and we'll pull the shadows down. And you'll see here that as I do this, I'm just adjusting this using these various sliders, depending on the look you're going for. I kinda like the bright water there, so I'm gonna leave the highlights as is. I generally like a more saturated image, and I generally like higher contrast levels. So something like that, see that? This is all you need to do to color adjust inside Movavi Editor. That's three different ways, and it's a piece of cake. Let's now get back into some more AI functionality and features. All right, now we're going back to AI. We're gonna remove bad background noise. If you've got a hum, if you've got a train, or you got a whistle, or your dog barks, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. Watch this, this is the original clip, and then I'm gonna show you the fixed clip, and you're gonna hear a huge difference. Here's the original piece. All right, I'm recording some footage, but the washing machine drain just went on. Okay, the washing machine drain went on, but here's the thing, it literally went on underneath me, it's so loud. It is deliberately bad, because if you can get rid of really bad noises like this one, you can get rid of subtle ones, like, you know, maybe your kid screaming in the background, but it's in two rooms away. A lot different. Let's go ahead and listen to the revised version here. All right, I'm recording some footage, but the washing machine drain just went on. Where's the now, you can barely hear anything, and this is literally like a worst case scenario. Unless you have a train that goes through your house or right outside your house, you're not gonna get too much worse than this. So how did I do it? Well, let me show you. All right, so the first step here is we wanna go over to the left side up at the top. Under more tools, you'll see we have video and audio options. In this case, we wanna switch to audio, kinda obviously. <laughs> and then fourth one down, we have noise removal. We can select artificial intelligence, which is what I select 98 out of 100 times or you can select default and then adjust the noise suppression as you see fit. I generally go with AI because it gets it right almost every single time, but again, you can manually adjust it if you want. I'm gonna go ahead now and click on apply. Now, this is going to do most of the work. I'm gonna listen, show, let you listen to it, and then I'm gonna show you one minor little touch up to get rid of that click at the beginning. So let's move the playhead to the beginning, hit play, let's see what we got. All right, I'm recording some footage, but the washing machine drain just went off. So you can kind of hear the drain, but it's very, very far away. And again, this is in a worst case scenario. I mean, if the washing machine, if you're literally filming on top of your washing machine, <laughs> it could do the trick. So there you go. So that's the first bit. But listen to the beginning here. All right. You hear that little click? I want to show you how to get rid of that as well. So now, luckily, that's quite easy to do in Movavi here. So let's go ahead and do it. The first step here is I'm going to right click here and you'll see when I do that, it says add volume point. I am going to add a point. Then I'm going to add a second volume point and I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. As you can see here, if you need to zoom in, you can use this here, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom way in and show you what's happening here. So I've got these new two points. So what's happening is we've got our original point here and then the new ones that we created. So I'm gonna move this point back somewhere around here, and then I'm gonna move this point back somewhere, say, around here. Now, this middle point, I'm going to pull it down. I'm also going to pull down the original point a little bit as well, I guess, something like that. And the reason why is we can actually zero out that original audio. So the original click, let's go ahead and listen to this and see if we've got it. All right. Okay, we don't quite have it. So if you don't have it right, don't worry about it. Just move the points along. And I'll move this point maybe to somewhere around here. And then maybe this point to around there. Something like that. Let's try that. All right, I'm okay, so you hear the point got quieter. Now, again, adjust this as you see fit. I might move this over here. And maybe this one will come down a little bit. And again, we're just testing it out. All right, I'm okay, so the audio is different there. And because we added those points with right click, we've combined AI with very, very precise point control to click out and get rid of that background washing machine noise. That's all there is to it, guys. Now, I'm gonna show you another cool effect. All right, the next effect I wanna show you is motion tracking, and this is especially good for things like stickers and text. And yes, this is also a new AI feature. Now, take a look at this here. Here's the original shot that I've got. I've got this guy playing, a, I guess, a piano out in the middle of a field, as you do. And watch the sticker here, watch this. 
Notice how that sticker there is not moving around with the person. It's just in the middle, directly in the center. This though is motion tracking and this is what you can do with one click. Watch this. See how this is moving with the person here? So as he moves in the shot, the sticker goes with them. This is cool, <laughs> no pun intended, but this works great for both stickers and filters. So let me show you how I do it from scratch. All right, motion tracking is super easy to do in Movavi Video Editor. Here we go. I'm in my project files here up at the top. I'll drag and drop some footage in here as you do. Excellent. Now on the left side here, you're going to see elements. I'm going to click on elements and then under here up at the top, you'll see stickers. Now there are so many different stickers and elements you can add in. It is absolutely crazy. I like to go to the Brilliant Idea Pack because I find these to be some of the best ones. And uh, you know what? Let's go with this one. Let's go with this cool sunshiny sunglasses thing. Okay, good. We'll draw with this one here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on it and then it'll slowly or it'll actually very quickly it'll download. But then I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it right onto the timeline and then something like that. Okay. And then maybe I'll move it closer to the end and I'll make it a little bit longer. I'm just pulling on these handles. Now, if I hit play, as you know, this is just kind of bouncing in the middle here, but it is not tracked to anything. It's just right in the middle. It does, it's doing nothing other than it's a natural little bounce. But here we go to motion track, super easy. I'm just gonna double click on it. And when I do that here, let's move the playhead to the beginning. But when I double click on it, you'll see we get clip editing and then we get clip and then we get motion tracking. Now I'm gonna leave these as is because I don't wanna adjust those, but motion tracking, look at this. We've got a quick one, we've got a precise one. If you wanna track to a specific point, and then in this case, artificial intelligence, which lets it do its own thing. So let's start off with a quick track here using artificial intelligence. I'll click on track and it should just take a few, not even a few seconds, that's pretty quick here. I'll come back when it's done. All right. It's done. Now I haven't touched anything. Let's hit spacebar and play and watch it now. There we go. Loading. Now notice how it's moving left and right and it's kind of rocking back side to side and it's moving itself here. Like this is way up top here and it's just sort of doing it. And you can also just double click on it here and you can see its movement as you go here. So you can see that it's moving and it's tracking just by the bounding box doing its thing. So that is literally all there is to it for motion tracking. I'm going to quickly show you how to motion track some text though, because this is an incredible feature and it's also super easy to do. All right, adding text and motion tracking it is easy. Let's go here on the left side. I'm going to click on this T that stands for title or text. And then bang, we can see here we've got all of these different types of text. There's so many different types. You can take a look through them all. I'm going to go ahead and click on cinematic. And then for this one, let's go with something like this one, the shooter. Okay, this looks pretty cool. I'm going to click on it. You're going to see here that it downloads very quickly. And then this gives you an example of what it looks like. Okay, maybe it's not a perfect fit for this, but I really like this style. So I'm now just going to grab that and drag and drop it right onto the timeline as we do now again when i hit play you're going to notice that it does not track so here it just sits in the middle like it's supposed to okay let's hit play there it comes it shows up it's not moving around only the background and the background video is moving but we want to motion track this a little so all you got to do here is double click on it again this time you'll see we've got new preset and motion track it so we can save this as a preset if we so choose First thing I like to do though, is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the text and then you'll see here that we can not only add text, but we can change what it says. So so unlike using a sticker, which has, you know, pre-built text or pre-built images, text you can adjust. So let's go ahead and change this. And I'm gonna change this to Curtis, my name, something like that. Okay, easy weasy. And if you wanna change the font, make it bold, etc., you can go down here and adjust them, left align, etc. But we're gonna leave that alone because it's nice and simple. Over here though, motion tracking, you knew we were going here. We get three options. We can go with a quick track, we can go with a precise track, and an artificial uh, intelligence track. Let's go with precise track. 
watch this when i click on this you're going to see that we get this bounding box with a crosshair in it this is our motion tracking target so in this case maybe i want to track it to the middle of his head something like that so this here our text with the uh with the graphic with it is going to track based on his head. This is, you know, maybe not how I would normally do it, but I want to show you how cool this is and how this is a little different than the standard AI track. I'm just going to go ahead and click on track. Here we go. And then watch what we get. This is crazy. I'll come back when this is done. You'll love it. All right. So it's gone ahead and done its tracking. I'll move the playhead actually to the beginning. And now watch how this bounding box moves and basically tracks to the middle of this guy's head. See that? See how it's wobbling and tracking as he moves? The text moved with him. This is what tracking does. This is awesome. And again, if I move forward like this, you'll see here that it is moving. The bounding box here, these little uh, dash lines here are moving with the individual. And this is motion tracking. And this allows you to really increase the production value of your videos all right let's get to the effects store now all right and the next thing i want to show you is the effects store i've shown you all sorts of techniques to remove background noise to you know add in transitions and music and all that good stuff uh, add in background video all important things to know but my favorite thing is the effects store and here's why when i click on this here the effects packs you'll see here you can go and look through the different ones here so for example i really enjoy the dynamic transitions pack and the vivid vlog pack these are my favorite ones actually vlog titles is quite good too but take a look at this if i click on that here you'll see it says eight intro videos 73 different stickers 36 titles, four transitions, all things that we just went over so you know how to apply them and use them. If we go to the dynamic transitions pack, it gives you 54 different transitions. Good stuff. <laughs> it gives you exactly what you want. So there you go. An action scene. You'll see here it gives you 131 special effects. Holy smokes. But really what you want to do is you want to click on the effects store. If it says here, click on this, go to the website. This is going to open up a browser just like this. For me, it's Google Chrome. And then you can look at all of them. And the best part about it is you can see exactly what you're getting. So if I go through this here, look at this one here, cut out alphabet pack. So uh, if you're ever, you know, in a ransom situation, look at this. I just click on it and the video is going to load up here. I'll turn the volume off so not to scare you here. And take a look here. This is exactly what you'd get. You'd get this cut out alphabet pack with all these cool 230 hand cut stickers new videos wow okay that's really cool actually uh like think about your if you're a social media creator this is instant production value at the highest level get different backgrounds oh there you go you're in a collage background yeah look at that that's very very cool you get some transitions so here we go let's see the transition yeah very cool very cool stuff guys if you're not sure maybe that's not the style for you you can just click back and then maybe education and training. Maybe you're an online teacher like I am, or you do tutorials and you just go through them in here. Okay, e-learning set. Let's take a look at this one at the e-learning pack. It opens up and boom, we're gonna see what this one's got. And then if you've got it, you can either buy the pack separately or you can get the all-in-one deal where you can have like a big pack or the yearly rate. And again, I got a 27% off uh, coupon by the way. So if you do decide to do that, Get it all, download it all, use it all. It is fantastic. Look at these titles, look at these stickers. This is just absolutely fantastic. These transitions are fantastic. This is how you go ahead and change your, can change your game. You go from good videos to amazing videos and you can do it just like this guys using the techniques we just talked about anyways there you go guys this is movavi video editor 2024 it is fantastic highly recommend it links in the description below give it a crack let me know what you think thanks for watching